Okay, in this video, let's take a look at a swing of Ryan O'Toole, LPGA Tour player, sort of fitness fanatic, and a winner of the Women's Scottish Open, really held up a hard-charging Lydia Ko on the final round. So let's take a look here. Uh, interesting golf swing. So like I said, fitness fanatic, good power. She's up there in that 265 range off the tee for average, which is pretty good on tour. Ball striking stats, not amazing, but good. So we can see... Maybe check and see what might not be as good for her golf swing for the stats. But certainly from a setup standpoint, great setup position. Club face perfect, swing plane perfect going up. And this angle of the swing really doesn't tell the, to the, the real story for the swing. We'll see more from the face on view. But as she goes up here, really nothing to criticize. She has the face in perfect position, Le left wrist dead flat. And as she starts it down sequentially, looks great. Legs working properly. And there's a club just shallows out beautifully coming down. Easy to see why she gets that good power. So geometrically, it's really hard to argue with this club coming down in terms of the shaft plane. Only thing different here from a lot of the current players that are playing better is that face angle. So she does have the face a little more open at this point. Back this way, and if it was more tipped forward, it would allow her to rotate a little bit easier coming through. But with it open like that, something will have to then I'll sort of accommodate closing the face. And she does it with sort of the right arm and right side rotating over. Like we said, we'll see that more from the front view. But planes it out perfectly. And because her stats aren't amazing stats, this rollover at the bottom must have some days where it just doesn't feel as in sync as others. This video here, however, great lines here. One more look from down the line with the iron swing. Like I said, not bad at the top there. Left wrist pretty flat. Club face okay. Now, obviously, if that face was a little bit more on this side of the shaft, get that thing more in a closed position, that would allow her to be more of a rotator. But this one here coming down, plane still great. Shaft really paralleling the shaft plane at a dress, but that face wildly open coming down on some of these swings. And then the face inside be sort of behind her hands and open. Planes it out, but there's going to be a lot of crossover in some of these swings at the bottom. And like I said, I can only imagine that is something she must work on to try to keep it in sync and keep that rollover at the bottom in check. From the face on view, great setup position. Spine angle perfect, perfectly 50-50 on the feet. But then she gets into some trouble, in my opinion, with the body motion. So there is some shifting going on. More with the driver, we'll see in a minute, where the midsection moves to the right, and then she starts to tip. Probably a problem she's had since she was a junior golfer. And then that upper body is now moving forward. And that then changes sort of her orientation to the ball. Great width and lag, and then it starts to look a little different coming down, arms start to collapse. We can see that face wide open at this point. And then through here, the athleticism to control the club at the bottom is really what sets her apart. Clearly at the Scottish Open, no trouble. But in general, this motion here isn't as in sync and matched up as a lot of the players that are more shut face rotators. And here we have the driver Camera angle a little askew, kind of come in this angle so the ball position looks back in the stance. But there's that big swing. And like I said, you can see the shift of the hips moving to her right. And then that forward movement. Look at that lag, look at the load through the wrists with all that extension in the arms. That is a lot of lag right there for power. Club face on this one actually better than some of the other ones. That is amazing. That is a, a lot of angle there. Like I said, now here's more of the inefficiency, like probably habits left over from a junior golfer, but we can see here arms breaking down a little to try to control that club face. Doesn't look as efficient as a lot of the players that are out there right now. That left arm will be really straight, and she's working hard with the arms. 
And maybe that's one reason she spent so much time in the gym, just to keep the coordination and strength to really control that club as it's going so fast through the hitting area. Last clip we'll look at here is just a drill that she's certainly doing, working with that tour striker ball, just any kind of ball. We used to use Nerf balls, but just to keep the elbows closer together and keep the club in sync, keep the arms working with the body. So a great drill you can do if you find your arms are getting a little separated at the bottom. You're losing some of that sort of awareness of where the arms and club are in relation to the body. Great to work with the ball between the arms. Really helps the timing. Much easier to sink it up at the bottom. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video of Ryan O'Toole. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well.